Okay, we have here today a really interesting looking integral from the UNSW Integration B. This one's from 2023, semifinal round two, problem two. We have the integral of one over sine squared x plus cosine x plus one dx. Okay, just looking at the denominator, I was thinking this is really similar to another kind of problem you may have seen in the past that's a bit easier. And let's just look at that easier example. Okay, so sometimes you'll see an integral like this where you can just do a u substitution for sine x. And then the nice thing with that is we have our derivative right in the numerator. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna reduce to something like u squared plus eight u plus 15. And then from here, this is factorable and you could break it up using partial fractions or whatever methods you have. But now this problem is gonna be relatively easy. The difference we have here is a few things. We've got nothing in the numerator to work with. So for our u substitution, that's gonna be more difficult. And then also we don't have just sines. We have, we're mixing sines and cosines. But the mixing sines and cosines is pretty easy to fix because I can just use an identity for this and write my one, I can write my sine squared x as one minus cosine squared x. And so when I do that over here and rewrite this, and we write in our one minus cosine squared x. So I, what I can do here is combine the one and one and get a two. And I also can bring this minus sign out. I can factor the minus sign out or put it in the numerator. So let's do it that way. I'll put, we'll write this as like a minus one in the numerator. And then when I rewrite this, this is gonna change the sign and everything. So now we're gonna have a positive cosine squared x minus cosine x, and we'll have minus two. So now at this point, the u substitution is not really gonna work, but the factoring can work. So let's get a little more space. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put the integral aside for a second, and I'm gonna kind of do a substitution so we can do algebra. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna set my t equal to cosine of x so that we can factor this. So we have t squared minus t minus two. But this is going to factor as t minus 2 times t plus 1. But then from here, what I can do is just take this and we can do partial fractions on this. Okay, now we'll go ahead and we'll get our a and b value using the cover-up method. So starting with this first term, I'm going to plug a 2 in here and a 2 in here. We'll cover up this first part. When I plug a 2 in here, I have a 3 minus 1 over 3. So our a value is going to be minus 1 third. And then doing the same thing over here for our second term, we'll plug in minus 1, cover this up. Plug in here, we get minus three. Minus one over minus three gives me a positive one third for our b value. So now I'm ready to just take this and we'll put it back into an integral and continue there. So we'll have our, I'm gonna take the minus one third, bring it out front. Now again, remember our t is just cosine x. So our integral here for this first integral is gonna be just cosine x minus two. Then for our b value, I'll bring a one third, I'll bring it outside of the integral. We'll have dx here. And this is going to be t plus 1, so we're going to have cosine plus 1. And now we have here two really similar integrals. We could probably solve it a few different ways, but what I want to do here is wire stress substitution. Okay, now for this substitution, I know I can't really pronounce it, but the substitution we're doing is we're making a substitution for t, and we're setting it equal to tan of x over 2. Now, of course, that's really not intuitive. That's what's so interesting about this substitution. Now, I'm not going to derive everything the way I've done, as I've done that in numerous other videos, but I'll provide links to those if you want to look into this more, if you want to see how we find these values for sine and cosine. But basically, we're able to derive these just using normal trig identities and like double angle formulas. The one thing I will do is find our dx value that we're going to need. So first, what I can do is rearrange this using arctan. We end up with x over 2 equals arctan of t. But then just multiplying by two on both sides, this is gonna cancel here. And now we have our x value, so then we'll just take a derivative to get our dx, and this is gonna be two over one plus t squared dt. So now we have everything over here to the right in order to make our substitution, so we'll go ahead with this. So again, for our dx value, I'm gonna write this, we'll write the two dt in the numerator, I'm gonna bring the one plus t squared down here. Then for our cosine x, we have one minus t squared over one plus t squared. And then we'll just have our minus two. Uh, let me put parentheses around this whole thing. Sorry, that's kind of a mess, but I'm just gonna keep going. So for dx, we're gonna have two dt. Again, same thing with our cosine value over here, plus one, and we wanna multiply all this again by this one plus t squared. So I'll bring this two out front. So we're gonna end up here with minus two thirds and this is gonna become dt. Now the one plus t squared is gonna cancel with this term. So in our denominator, we just end up with one minus t squared. Distributing in the minus two here, we have minus two minus two t squared. Then here, again, we'll take our two out front. So we end up with two thirds. The same cancellation here. 
And so we're left with one minus t squared, and then we have to distributing in the one, we'll have a plus one plus t squared. Now the t squareds cancel here. We end up with two in the denominator with just the one and the one here, but I'll just cancel that here. So we end up, that all cancels out, we end up just integrating one. And then when we simplify this piece, we end up with minus one minus three t squared for this integral. Okay, now from here what I'll do is I'll take this minus sign that we have here and we'll just cancel it out with all these minus signs so we get everything back to plus. And I think what I'm gonna do is factor another three out. So I can write it as one third out front here. This is gonna become one over three, but I'm gonna actually write this as one over square root of three squared. So over here, we're just integrating one. So let's just do this part. This is gonna give me one third t. Here, we're gonna have two over nine. Let me just clean this up a little bit. I can write this as dt over t squared plus one over square root of three squared. And now we're ready to integrate this thing. This is just in the form for arctan. Okay, we have here our arctan formula. And in this case, our a value is just gonna be one over square root of three. So let's go ahead, we'll bring forward our one thirds t. We still have our two ninths out front. Now, if our a value is one over square root of three, here we just want the reciprocal. So we're gonna have a square root of three. And then we're gonna have arctan, because it's in the denominator, we'll have square root of three t. So now all I need to do is just back substitute for t and then we can finish this off. So again, t is just gonna be tan x over two. So we're gonna have, plugging in here, one third tan x over two, plus two square root of three over nine, arc tan, square root of three, tan x over two, put parentheses, plus c, and that's it. Okay, that was a little more work than I was expecting. Again, I'll provide links in the description to the other videos where we derive the formulas for the wire stress substitution. Again, sorry, I can't pronounce wire stress. So let's stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.